In 1997, it was announced about the cloning of the most famous sheep in history. Dolly the sheep. It was cloned from another white-headed sheep, and Dolly was similar to it. And this news caused an uproar around the world. But is it possible to clone humans too? For more details, watch the video. Today is the 26th anniversary of the birth of Dolly the clone sheep. It was born on this day 26 years ago. Dolly the clone sheep was born on the 5th of July in 1996 in Scotland. And it was announced in 1997. I think many of you have heard of the uproar caused by this news. But how did they do it? How did they clone Dolly the sheep? Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like and share the video to encourage us to continue. Firstly, let's get to know cloning together. Cloning is the making of an exact copy of a living organism, so the newborn is a copy of the original organism. Well, how was the sheep dolly cloned? Credit goes to Ian Wilmot and his team. The scientist Ian Wilmot and his team took 277 eggs from the ovary of a black-headed female sheep, and then emptied these eggs from their nuclei. Then he extracted the nucleus from the udder cells of a white-headed sheep, and he placed the nucleus taken from the udder cells of the white-headed sheep inside the vacuolated oocytes, then he gave an electric shock to the hybrid cell in order to divide it. Then he transplanted the divided cell into the uterus of a black-headed sheep, and only one egg of them succeeded in growing, which is Dolly the sheep and it was white-headed like its mother. And many animals were also cloned. Cloning has many advantages and disadvantages. And one of the benefits of cloning, the ability to clone endangered animals so they don't go extinct. And if you are a pet lover, you can now clone your pet because many countries such as the United States and others have become cloning pets. Also cloning is not only for live animals. We can even clone dead animals. In 2008, a team of Japanese succeeded in cloning mice that were frozen for 16 years. This also may bring us already extinct animals to live on our planet again, such as mammoths. Mammoth bodies are abundant under the ice in Siberia, and they are preserved and have not decomposed yet. So maybe in the future we can clone it. We don't forget that cloning has its downsides also. Among these negatives is that cloning usually does not succeed the first time. Like Dolly the sheep. Sheep cloning didn't work from the first time, but it was a successful attempt out of 277 attempts. And one of the negatives is that clones do not live as long. As Dolly the sheep, it only lived 6 years, while other sheep can live up to 12 or 13 years. Also, the cost of the cloning process is high. But maybe in the future we can overcome these negatives. Let's come to the important question now. Is it really possible to clone humans too? In fact, yes we can. We can clone humans in the same way as animal cloning. But many countries prohibit human cloning experiments because it can also lead to negative results. Such as the similarity of fingerprints, which leads to not knowing the identity of people and not distinguishing between humans because the cloned person has the same DNA as the original person. But imagine with me, if human cloning became allowed in all countries, we can then clone our loved ones and our acquaintances, like Dolly the sheep, and we get new children who are exact copies of our deceased loved ones and acquaintances. This sounds like science fiction, right? In the end, tell us in the comments, what do you think of human cloning? Do you support allowing human cloning in order to clone our loved ones when they die? Or do you support the opposite? I hope you enjoyed watching.